Hey there. Been a couple weeks since I checked in, so I thought I'd pop on and let you know where things stand. Um, training went, training is going really well. Um, feeling like my injury is behind me. Participated in the um, Catoctin Half Cat uh, 25K last weekend. It was the first in-person event that I was able to participate in this year, and it was really nice to be able to be out there with my trail community and ultra runners, some major badasses, and um, kicked my ass, but I got it done. I hiked a lot, um, but that was the plan. And buzzard status is that I'm behind again. <laughs> Um, if I want to be on track by the end of July, I have a lot of work to do, no lie. So that's what I'm out here doing today. It's Sunday, July 19th, 2020. It's 95 degrees down off the mountain and it was 91 when I started here. Um, I did a four mile math run at the hatchery and then I jumped in the car and came up to do some hiking in the woods in the shade um, for a couple hours just to see if I can get some miles in without overheating um, a couple cre creek crossings along the way so I can cool off and get my feet wet and get my trusty handkerchief wet and all that good stuff so just popping in to say hey and Things are happening and things are feeling good. So, yay, I'll keep you posted. This helps me with my um, buzzard accountability. <laughs> so, I'll keep you posted. Bye. Not really a ton of water in the creek. It hasn't rained here in a while. So, I made it to my favorite part of this out and back. Um, it's uh, exactly three miles from Chestnut picnic area to the Mount Zion Road terminus and there's always a breeze up here. Um, I was really counting on it today because it's hot. It is so hot. Um, but it didn't it didn't let me down. There's a beautiful breeze up here and it came at the perfect time because I was getting warm and a little grumpy. Um, so this is my turnaround spot, and I'm going to eat some dates. I'm living on eggs, um, some tailwind, a handful of peanuts and M&Ms. Like, not the best diet today, <laughs> not a lot of food, so um, I'm tired. I did it, like I said, I did a four-mile run earlier, and I'm three miles into this one, so I've got three to go. So I'm gonna eat some dates, and then I think when I get back to the house, uh, Jim's gonna have some hamburgers to put on the barbecue. So it will be good, it will be welcome. I'm going to eat like a fool and possibly drink a beer. Uh, I think we're getting close to the sober time of the training program, so we'll see. But um, I think the beer's gonna taste pretty good right now, so <laughs> that might have to wait until next weekend. All right, so turnaround spot. I'll take a picture because it's a beautiful view, but uh, I just wanted to check in and say things were going well. All right, so I'm in my last half mile for my hike tonight and checking in for two reasons. One, because this is a section that I feel like I could see the neighborhood bear. So I want to talk while I'm walking. So who better to talk to than you? The neighborhood bear is all told over 300 pounds <laughs> and he's been spotted on all my neighbor's trail cams. He has been spotted crossing Route 77, right near where we live. So I keep 
letting him know that I'm just passing through and not really interested in meeting up. So, uh, how do I stay cool on 95 degree days? Pick a route that has trail or has stream crossings and wet my handkerchief squeeze it on the top of my head, squeeze it on the back of my neck, wipe off my arms and legs, and then when you get blessed with a delicious breeze, it's like air conditioning, which is kind of how things went today. I had a couple really nice spots with breezes. This is one of them right now. I'm climbing up the last little bit of a hill that gets back to my car. And it's definitely still hot out, but there's a beautiful breeze. So I'm soaking it in and getting her done. So that's it for today, I think. But just wanted to check in and let you know that all systems were go. Have a good week.